guys, Colin here with CGI Detailing. Today we're out here at Glide Cove doing their 2006 Winnebago. We're gonna restore the finish on this. The finish on this is pretty oxidized. We're getting air between three to four uh, on the gloss meter reading, which means it's, it is really oxidized and you need a lot of work. Yeah. We're gonna try to restore that finish to 85. And then after we restore that finish with our two-step compound, uh, we're gonna coat it. So what we're gonna start with is the heavy cut compound by Glide Coat. And that's gonna remove the majority of the oxidation on the surface. And then afterwards, we're gonna use Glide Coat's Nano Compound, which will help finish out the surface and give it a really nice shine. And then that's when we apply the ceramic coating on top to retain the shine that we put on there for years to come. All right, guys, so we finished up the wash to remove all the dirt and grime on the surface. Now we're ready to move on to our buffing stage. We're gonna use Glycoat's heavy cut compound on a really aggressive wool pad. And the reason for doing that is there's a lot of oxidation on the surface. So we wanna knock that down. So we need an aggressive wool pad to be able to knock that down as fast and efficiently as possible. Um, so we're gonna go through the entire side of the trailer, both sides, cut it down with this. So it'll boost the gloss meter readings from three to four, all the way up to 40 to 50. And then we'll be able to move on the next step, which is the polishing, polishing stage, which we'll be able to get up to 80 to 90 on the gloss meter. So let's get into it. All right, so we just finished up with the heavy cutting compound on the rotary bed or the rotary of the wolf hat and removed most of the oxidation on the surface. It brought the gloss meter readings from three and four all the way up to 70s and 80s. So we're doing really, really well. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started on the nano compound with the maroon foam pad. And that's gonna polish out the surface, perfect it a little bit better, bring a lot more gloss and shine. And then we'll be ready to hop on to the alcohol wipe the circus prep and then to the pro rv coating so let's go Alrighty, now that we finished up with the polishing section, we removed all the rest of the oxidation that might have been on the surface and the swirls of scratches that were on there as well. So now we're reading on the gloss meter upwards of 90 and up. So we're doing really, really well. That means this is ready to be coated. But first, before we do that, we have to alcohol wipe or use Glide Coat surface wipe to get all the oils, waxes, compound, polish oils, anything off of there to make sure there's absolutely nothing that could interfere with the RV ceramic coating. And then after we do that, what we'll do, put the coating on. So let's get a wipe in. All right, guys, so we actually pulled the RV into the shop. Uh, the reason being we pulled it into the shop is because we want to work in the shade instead of indirect sunlight. It helps a whole lot to work in the shade instead of sunlight. The coating goes on way easier. You want to grab your, your coating, then you want to put it on your applicator pad right here. Do a couple, couple little things of it. It's kind of like that. And then you want to, you're going to want to work in about a two by two section. And then you're going to, what I'm going to do is go with this window, pick out a little spot, go right there, outline it. And then you want to cross hatch it. So go side to side and then up and down. And then after you do that, go ahead and immediately wipe it off. You don't want it to dry on there. It'll be really hard to take off. And that's not something we want to happen. And then now that we coated that section, we're going to move on to the next section. And then we're going to work in two by two sections all the way down the trailer until we're finished up. And then we're going to hop onto the second part of the coating do it all over again, and then we'll be finished up. 